Mr. Maki back at you. Good morning. Uh, spent a good part of the morning getting the album cover ready, ready or get some ideas for the album cover. You'll be seeing that real soon. Check me out on Reverb Nation to see the new album cover for the Tribulation album, which will be dropping in a couple of months. I got some singles already ready, so just deciding which one I'm going to drop with you guys first, but enough of that. Yesterday, I got to cut off doing my rant. I think I was talking about the Alphabet Boys, the true terrorists of the world, the DEA, the FBI, the CIA, the ATF, and whatever other alphabets they come up with as being the true terrorists of the world, these uh, hypocritical government agents, uh, the Theresa Mays of the world, the, the UK, the parliament members of the world who stage these events. Let me tell you something. I did a lot of law enforcement in my time. I'm an old guy. People, just watch what you see. Anytime you see this stuff on CNN, all this fake news Donald Trump talks about, uh, he talks about it, but he didn't talk about it yesterday. That's fake news. That's fake news to the T. Now, Trump ain't going to say that's fake news because he backs that type of foolishness. Let me tell you what to watch when you hear these stories. Watch the UK scene yesterday. Watch some of CNN's footage. This is supposed to be an active crime scene. This is a active event where traumatic situation, basically triage is going on. Why are people walking through the crime scene? Why are people walking through triage areas? Anytime anything like that happens in law enforcement, we shut down the area. People have to go the other way. I saw a girl with a book badge walking around like, what's going on? That doesn't happen in active crime scene. People, people from cities in America, do you see people walking through active crime scenes like, yes, it's just a regular day? Cars being allowed to drive through active crime scenes and active event scenes? No. You don't see those things. But we believe everything that comes on that idiot box. Until we stop believing the foolishness on the TV, we're never going to be saved. We're going to constantly be caught up in this it's like this hypnotized state. We believe everything we see on TV. We don't challenge anything. They keep using the same words, fear, terror, horror. You need to be afraid. Like I said, I put this on Facebook. I live in Cleveland. I can get stabbed at the bus stop. What the fuck I'm walking around afraid of everything for? But that's what they need. The only way the new world order works, the only way these entities are able to have power is that you are afraid. And you do fear these things. There's nothing to fear but God, the, the higher power himself. You're going to die. We all know that. But they need fear to keep control. They need fear so you keep believing in these fake-ass creations they come up with, Al-Qaeda, ISIS. In the 80s, for those of us that's 80 babies, who grew up on movies like the Delta Force and some of these other flicks, we had terrorist organizations in five, ten minutes. Terror was more diverse. Remember Nighthawks and Wolfgar? He wasn't no Islamic boogie man. He was some European dude. So this is nothing new to us. We've seen this whole game being played before. The game doesn't work unless you allow it to work. And see, the one thing they knew they can always use is religion. Separate us by our religion. You got bad Muslims in the world? Yes. You do got some bad Muslims in the world. You do got some Muslims that prescribe the things that they should prescribe to. You got bad Christians in the world? Yes, you got bad Christians in the world. You got bad Jews in the world? Yes, you got bad Jews in the world. This is, is never going to change. But as long as we continue to let people separate us, utilizing these things, we're always going to be under control. Because these folks, they, they don't go to church. They don't go to the Magi. And they damn sure don't go to the synagogue. Because they don't believe in the God you believe in. And we need to take this shit seriously. They do not believe in the God that you believe in. Remember that. That's how they keep the power. Alright, so back on Ministry of Forever, finish up a video I started yesterday. Peace out.